Okay, so we're continuing on. Um, I'm going to go to face mode and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click and I'm gonna drag and I'm going to select these faces. Now you're going to want to go into four, four view mode so you can look at what you've selected. So if I look, it's the faces in between the legs. So I didn't get any of the stomach, which is what I wanted. So that's why you check, because if you accidentally went up one more set, you would be deleting too much. So then I just go ahead and I do, I press delete. And now we've got four legs. Now you will see that there are holes now in our legs, though. So we're going to fix that right now. So I'll press spacebar, go here so I can look at it. And I'm going to switch to edge mode. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shift click. And think of it this way. Each line that we select has to have a partner. So if I look, I've got this one, two. They're across from each other, which is what I need, and they're, you know, they, they have each other. With what we're going to do, you can't have odd numbers. So, you know, one and two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one and two. So I just did the vertical ones. So you go ahead and you go up to Edit Mesh, and you choose Bridge. And then it does way too many. So where it says divisions, I'm going to click in there and just set it to zero. So that makes it so there's just the one. So go ahead and do that for the other leg. So I'll just switch around so I can see my edges. Click. Just make sure even numbers. They should kind of, a, you know, have a partner, basically, so to speak. Click across, click across, click, and click. So only the vertical ones. Edit Mesh, Bridge, Set Divisions to Zero. So I'll do that for the front legs now. I like to work from the top. So one there, 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 there. Okay. Mesh Tools, Bridge, Set Divisions to Zero. Zero. There we go. All right, last one. Then we have to do the belly. Mesh bridge divisions are set to zero. Now, if you just look at the top, you just need to do it with these guys. So one here, one there, there. There, edit mesh bridge, divisions are zero, do it for the other side. Edit mesh bridge. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the worst of the boxiness. This dog is very boxy, no doubt about it, but we can at least adjust that somewhat. So what I do is, in edge mode, as I click across these kind of outside ones, we'll start with these that are kind of in the most boxy place of the body. And I'll go ahead and I'll click on this side. Symmetry mode does not work on this particular dog. And if for any reason, when you're trying to do these sort of things, so if I use scale, and I use R, it'll scale these guys in. So I'm just scaling in. So even if you look here, I can kind of already see that it's... So I'm doing it in. And then I'm going to use W to move it down just a little bit. And you see, even though it's still boxy, it's not as square as it used to be. Okay. If for some reason your um, dog is not doing it on both sides when you're trying to click and adjust things, like one side isn't moving, Make sure that when you click on this little kind of hammer looking thing up here, that your symmetry settings are set to off. Symmetry doesn't work on this, this particular method that we're doing, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I don't need these tools because mainly I'm just doing some basic modeling. So then you would go ahead and you do the same thing with other areas. So I'll select both sides and I'll use the move tool to move it up. And then I'll use R and scale it with the yellow one or the red to bring it in. Okay, and I could do the 
with the center of my dog as well. I could certainly, to make it less boxy, um, kind of pull it down. And it'll get more and more smooth the longer we work with it. Okay, so I can do the same thing with the neck. Go ahead and select a few of those vertices. And I'm going to use the Move tool to kind of move it back a little bit. And then I'll use the Scale tool in order to scale it in on this side. Okay, so I'll do the same thing with the top of the dog. I guess I'll do it with that part. Sometimes it'll just take a little experimentation to figure out which ones really need it the most. So that worked out okay. And then R to bring it in. We won't go crazy with trying to curve it out too much just because we need to add a few vertices in order to have more to work with. Now if you haven't saved recently, make sure to go File, Save Scene. Okay. Now, looks good enough for now. I'm going to go into face mode. I'm going to click on the two outer ones. These are going to become the dog's ears. And I'm going to go ahead and extrude the map. So make sure that you know which direction you're taking it. And they'll be very, very boxy right now. It's okay. We'll fix it. Okay. <laughs> kind of makes him look like a donkey. So maybe, maybe not quite that much. But then I can just switch to scale and scale it in that direction and in this direction as well so that it's kind of the more pointy look of a dog. So now we've got kind of Doberman. And it's not, you know, perfect, but we'll adjust the ears more and more as we work with it. Okay, so that's the basics of what we got so far. Control S to save. 